All right, let's keep it real for a second. You missed out on GameStop. You missed out on its 400 plus percent move this last week when Roaring Kitty stormed the internet with yet another tweet. Sound like you? Well, if it is, let me help you find the next GameStop. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I go through proper stock selection to find stocks before they pop. Whoa, gotta cut you off real quick. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to tell you, if you guys are part of Profit Chasers app, again, go to ProfitChasers.app and create an account. It is completely free. I'm going to text you guys your cell phone and email you whenever I think I found the next GME, especially next week when there's going to be a lot of FOMO in the market. So if you guys don't want to do the research like I'm about to show you how to do in this video, and you want me just to text it right to your cell phone, go to ProfitChasers.app and create an account, and I'll text you guys early this week. It's gonna be a good week. You don't wanna miss it. Alrighty, on to the video. <sighs> Alrighty, so we had a day on Friday, over $3,000 made, mainly from CLUE, or CLEU. It was a crazy move to the upside, and we captured a majority of it. So, first of all, let's talk about what was GameStop. GameStop was a stock that was heavily shorted and was losing capital quite often. The play with GameStop was the simple fact that it had so much shorting potential. Now in theory, we want to find a stock that has high short squeeze opportunity or a stock that's being heavily shorted. And to make it even one step better, we want to find a stock that has a lower float. The lower the float, the higher potential for stock to really squeeze. Think of float as the overall supply. Too much supply, you need billions of dollars to move to stock. And if we have little supply with just a few million, a stock can really squeeze. So first thing I do is I look at what my students are looking at each and every single morning. Now, if there's nothing like that that's popping, I just go to low float stocks and I essentially just go through the list of all the low floaters. Again, float is a supply. From there, I simply look at these stocks on dilution tracker to see what the offering availability is. Basically, we don't wanna invest in a stock that is planning on dumping millions of shares of their own stock soon. We wanna have a stock that can have a sustained move in a stock that traders aren't afraid to buy. Now from there, I patiently wait for stock to make an initial pop. Basically, I'm looking for high relative volume. For example, if a stock is only having 100,000 shares of volume every single day, and my market open already has 300,000, well, the odds are that stock's going to continue higher, has high relative volume. And if you start to see the stock pop, you start to take some starter positions. Now, there's a lot of technical analysis behind it, but I'm not going to go into that right now. If you guys would like that, all you have to do is go over to the trading courses on ProfitChasers.app and watch the five minute pullback. Also, if you guys do not want to have to do all the research to find the next hot stock with explosive potential, I'm going to text it right to you guys in our free newsletter and right to your cell phone. So make sure you guys click the link down below or go to ProfitChasers.app and sign up. It's completely free and I'm going to text you guys exactly when I think I found the next GME. Alrighty, see you guys on the other side. Peace.